So at this point, I feel that you guys already know my main mission is to try and find the best and cheapest way to do things. This video is gonna follow that theme too, except it's gonna be a little bit more health oriented because I personally have a problem that I assume most desktop users actually have. Why should you let erectile dysfunction get you down? Wait, what? This is gonna make me sound so old, but for the last two weeks, my back has been in a stupid amount of pain. Now on average, I probably spend about four to five hours sitting in front of the computer, but ever since I started taking the YouTube channel more seriously, it's been more like seven or eight hours. I started going to the gym every day because I thought I was just in a lot of pain because my was just being super inactive, but after two weeks of going every single day, I am still in the same amount of pain. So I think the issue has something to do with me sitting at this desk all the time. Now I can't stop because I still have to edit work videos as well as the YouTube videos, so I decided to try and change something. I noticed the other day that I can't actually fit my legs underneath this desk. I know that sounds stupid, like how could I not notice that? But I just never really paid attention to it. Which explains why I sit in 54 different positions every time I'm at my computer. Now I tried to get my chair to go lower, but like all other gaming chairs I've had, the top part of the seat cushion doesn't go low enough below 29 inches. For those of you that don't know, the average height of a desk is 29 inches. So you know those desk tables that lift up and down? I caved and I finally got one from one of the ads that I keep seeing in my internet browser from FlexiSpot, the boxes back there. So this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna put this thing together and test it for two weeks and see if the pain goes away. Besides, this is what my desk looks like right now. So uh, <laughs> it's probably time to change it up. You guys are getting the ultra wide angle because this thing is too big. Right off the bat, this thing is super heavy. I am a small Asian boy and FlexiSpot is a Chinese company. How are you making products that are so heavy that even when your own people can barely move it around? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just kidding. I just, uh, my, my strength stats aren't exactly maxed out. So this is a two piece kit. This is the actual desktop. And then these, uh, oh my, okay, this is heavier. These are the legs. So I assume how this is gonna work is you take the legs, you put them together, and then you just mount the desk on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these things and see how difficult this setup process actually is. All right, so for those of you guys that are actually looking to buy this specific desk from uh, FlexiSpot, the instructions actually say that you should put the table part um, on the floor and slide the legs on top before you screw them in. But something I noticed is that it's actually not that easy to line up the holes for the legs through to the tabletop um, that easily. So as I was trying to do that when the tabletop was on the floor, I was actually scratching the hell out of the underside of the table. And I didn't want that. I wanted it to look, you know, as smooth as possible. So by flipping it this way, yeah, my arms are getting like 10 times more tired trying to screw this thing in, but I'm definitely not scratching it as much. And it was a lot easier to line up the screw holes. Could I flip this thing over and, you know, start screwing now that it's all lined up? Yeah, probably. But uh, flipping a table up and down, you know, especially at this size is not easy. I would recommend if you have one, a power tool, uh, a drill, because uh, the holes that go into the table are only threaded very minimally, and you're actually gonna create a, a bigger thread while you're going through to the tabletop. It's definitely a lot more work on my wrist and forearm. Um, I don't mind doing this, it's actually kind of relaxing, but uh, physically it's definitely a little bit more of a strain. So if you do have a power drill, you could probably bust through this in like, I don't know, like a minute or two.
first of all, clearly, this is my karma for making fun of The Verge because I've been using nothing but an Allen wrench for the last hour and a half and my thumb is basically bleeding. As far as the instructions go, the assembly on this was not easy. Physically, I do not recommend doing this by yourself. You will scratch the underside of the table if you do. There is just no avoiding that. You cannot lift this up perfectly by yourself because it is too wide, but I mean, I am um, a kind of a little guy. But yeah, we have everything screwed on. I have my control panel over here. Let's plug it in, let's see if it works. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> this is amazing. I feel so little. Okay, so it maxes out at 49.2 inches. Can I play limbo with this? Okay, well this is very interesting. I already like this a lot. Now I'm very interested to see how much weight this thing can actually hold. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking apart my actual desk and we'll load this thing up and we'll put it to the test. So yeah, when I'm not using camera angles to hide everything, this is how beautiful it all looks. So I figure let's take the opportunity of using this desk to make it look a little bit better. <laughs> So I think this desk is amazing. Obviously I love my new setup. I can finally fit my computer on my table, which was a really big plus for me because obviously I put a lot of time making this thing look nice and the fact that I had to sit on the ground where I couldn't see it was a little bit of a letdown. And if you're wondering where these two new monitors came from, if you watch any of my other videos, I actually traded the Amazon Return Asus ROG monitor for these two 240 hertz Asus ROG gaming monitors and a 1070 Asus Strix came with those. Good trade, I know, right? Anyways, as cool as everything looks here, the main point of this video is really to check the health benefits. Like I'm not exaggerating when I say how bad my back has been hurting from sitting and editing for as long as I have been. It's to the point where I think I should be making a video about it. So for the next 14 days, I'm gonna be sitting, standing, adjusting to however I feel comfortable at this desk. That's how I was doing it with my other one. And I will let you guys know if it does anything for the pain, which I'm really hoping it does. It's actually been 16 days, I almost forgot I was doing this video. So I actually have a lot of thoughts on this desk that should be talked about first. I touched on this earlier in the video, but putting this thing together is not that easy. It took me about an hour and 45 minutes and without a power drill, my thumb was actually in a lot of pain. Another thing to note is that for those of you who are really big on your cable management, this desk might be a little bit of an issue for you because if you're gonna be rising it and lowering it to get comfortable, you're gonna have cables that will run with a little bit of slack. I completely forgot about it, so the first time I rose the table after everything was set up, my speaker took a nosedive into the floor. Another thing to note is that the motor for this table is actually really impressive. After I loaded everything onto the tabletop, I was waiting to see how much the engine would actually struggle to lift everything up and down, and it still operates at the same exact speed as if nothing was on there. So very responsive, and I like that quite a bit. But finally, moving on to the important part, how does my back feel? If I'm being completely honest, it still hurts, but not as bad as before I started using it. What I've been doing for the last two weeks is lower the table to just above my knees when I feel like sitting, and when I get too sore and I wanna stand up, I raise it back up and start working there, and then when I get too tired standing, I sit back down. You would think that back and forth is somewhat annoying, but it is actually so much more preferable than the constant shifting into positions and never getting comfortable that I was doing before. So right now this thing goes for $380. That's a lot of money, right? I mean, financially, 
I would almost never recommend spending that much money, especially on a desk of all things. But here's the thing, I can actually tell that this table is helping my back. Not a ton, but it is definitely making working down here for as long as I do a lot easier. So spending that much money, which is essentially investing into your own health, kind of seems like a no-brainer to me. If any of you guys spend a lot of time at your computer, I would strongly encourage you to consider buying one. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video a little bit more informative than entertaining this time around. And as always, have a great day. I'm a